So another really important area of retail um, that Dynamics Retail Headquarters addresses in a very powerful way uh, is, is item assortments, item replenishment, hierarchies, categories. This is, this is the basic foundation on which most retail businesses are built. Um, solutions often you know, impose a number of limitations in terms of what retailers can do to serve their customers better, to make sure that the right items are at the right store or the right channel at the right time. So what we're going to do now is, is really walk you through some, some powerful examples of how Dynamics Retail uh, makes it very simple, very seamless for you to work with assortments, with hierarchies, with categories. And so with that, let's, let's go to the product. So I'm going to start with um, our retail dashboard. And again, this is your, your, your uh, launching pad, if you will, for all the ways that you manage your business centrally uh, within Dynamics Retail. And we'll look first at, uh, at categories, uh, because this really goes to the heart of how you can organize items uh, within your system, um, how you can view them, how you can apply parameters and changes. Um, and it's critical that you have a seamless and simple way to do this. You see a, a tree structure that you can create uh, based on your business needs. You can drill down uh, very seamlessly, very easily. In this case, I'm going to start with apparel and footwear, uh, go deeper into apparel, um, children's apparel, and ultimately to children's shirts. Now once I've gotten to this level of depth in terms of my, my item category, I have the ability to walk through a number of different ways to apply um, parameters and, and metrics to that. Um, I can start at the product level, I can go deeper into the retail product level, um, apply things around what everything down to what shelf labels may look like, um, what the store dimension group is going to be, um, size, color, style from a matrix inventory perspective. Um, I can then uh, look at just basic product attributes and I can apply those in a, a very quick and seamless way. Uh, and finally, I can even go so far as to map my item hierarchies to my vendor categories. Um, and in this way, it gives me a lot of powerful capability to make sure that I'm aligned with the vendors who are, who are supplying me with products. So once we're through looking at, at this basic structure, you then would go and look at um, your assortments. And assortments are obviously the, the different groupings of, of goods that you want to get to specific locations. You can create any number of different assortments that you would like. And, and just to give you an example, in this case, um, we'll take the, the example of a mall store. Um, and within that store, you're going to see the different uh, groups of items that would be applied for that particular assortment. Um, you have the ability to add to that, should you like, um, very seamlessly, very quickly. Um, I can choose to add a line and add a completely new category. So I may decide that now apparel and footwear is going to be a part of this assortment. Uh, I can even drill down further and decide that specific items uh, are going to be applied. So you've got a lot of flexibility here in how you, how you work with the solution, um, how you create hierarchies and categories. You can create as many as you'd like, uh, N-level deep. Um, so again, tremendous flexibility when you know that your assortments can be based on store format, but replenishment could be you know, based on something like seasonality. Um, so it gives retailers what they need to be very strategic in how they run their business. And then we'll take it a step further. Uh, we'll look at how you can visually represent your business through our organizational model. This is powerful functionality um, that is in you know, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 that our retail solution takes advantage of. So in this case, we're going to go to our organizational hierarchies. You can see that we've added, uh, for retail specifically, assortment hierarchies, store replenishment uh, reporting. In this case, I'm going to look at hierarchies for assortments. And if I click on view, what it's going to do now is visually show me uh, that I have multiple store formats. I have mall stores, super stores, outlet stores, and then I have associated locations with that. Again, if I go to my edit, um, through a visual um, menu that I'm looking at here, I can choose that I want to add a new store to, to the mall concept. And I'm going to right click and under insert, you'll see that I have a number of different options. I can choose to add a new legal entity. I can choose to add a new retail channel. Retail channel being very important because it can be anything from a physical brick and mortar location to an online website or a social network or a marketplace. So in this case, I'm going to choose, you know, store six is now going to be part of my, my mall store grouping. I'm going to click OK. And what you'll see here now is I've visually been able to show that connection point. And what's important is that all of the uh, replenishment schema, all of the assortment schema that are part of this mall stores concept are now automatically applied to store six. This means that a lot of the heavy lifting that requires a tremendous amount of forms and, and hurdles to jump through with other solutions has all been taken care of for you behind the scenes with Dynamics Retail. So once I've uh, completed that, I would click Publish and Close. Uh, ultimately, I would choose the effective date. This is very powerful because you can choose a date even well into the future that you want these changes to take place. Uh, I'm going to choose a date in April. I'm going to click Publish. 
And now you'll see that this hierarchy uh, assortment is going to take effect um, late in April. That store is going to be added because it's not completed yet or because I want to, um, to maybe move at a different pace. So again, all the different flexibility you have, all the different uh, challenges you can overcome by providing a simple interface, um, tree structures, unlimited item hierarchies and categories, and real flexibility uh, for your retail system. So again, what we've really done is we've eliminated a lot of the challenges that, that retailers today are, are struggling with that, that keep them from being competitive and, and reacting. Um, really, retailers are always in a reactive mode instead of being able to strategically and proactively run their business. So for more information, you can go to the website and appreciate you watching.